Hello guys, hope you are doing good. In this video, uh, we are going to learn about the installation of Apache Tomcat program on uh, Linux environment. I am going to install Apache Tomcat on CentOS 7 machine. So guys, uh, Apache Tomcat is basically a free uh, servlet container. Uh, on this uh, uh, program, you can deploy any of your Java web application very easily. So uh, first of all, you need to uh, download uh, uh, Java for Linux. Uh, go to Java website and uh, download uh, OpenJDK. Go to the OpenJDK.org. You can download the compressed form as well as uh, you can uh, install the Java using this command. So let's try this command. Um, if you uh, if your application is compatible with Java 8, you can uh, download the. Uh, Java 8 using this command. If uh, your application is using some uh, uh, another uh, Java version, you can uh, define the exact Java version here. So it's uh, downloading the Java from VM repository. So it's uh, downloading the packages. Uh, in the meantime, let's download the Apache Tomcat software as well. So go to the Tomcat official website. Download Apache Tomcat. Here is the Tomcat's uh, official website. Click on this link. Here are the binary distributions for Windows and Linux. Uh, we need to download uh, uh, Apache Tomcat for Linux. So let's uh, download it from here. Dot dot gun zip format. Copy the link address and uh, download on your server using wget command. So I am opening another session of uh, same server. Uh, let's uh, download the Apache Tomcat using this link. Uh, it's asking for uh, uh, to bypass the SSL certificate. Let's use this switch in your command to bypass the SSL certificate validity. So Apache Tomcat has been uh, uh, downloaded. Let's move this Apache Tomcat archive to slash user slash local. Go to slash user slash local and uh, extract the installer. So the tomcat has been uh, extracted, uh, let's go to this directory, here you can see these are the uh, default directories of tomcat. Now let's uh, rename this directory to uh, some easy name like uh, tomcat8. Now we need to add the user 
वन मोर थिंग गाइज आई एम एडिंग दो कमांड्स टू द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो यू कैन इजीली कॉपी एंड पेस्ट द कमांड्स टू योर कमांड लाइन सो लेट्स एड द यूजर एड यूजर माइनस आर माइनस डी डिफाइन द होम डायरेक्टरी होम डायरेक्टरी विल बी सेम वेर यू हैव एक्सपेक्टेड द टॉम कैट एंड finally the user name user has been created let's change the ownership of this directory to tomcat colon group name also tomcat uh, uh, sorry tomcat 8 now the path of directory in this command i am changing the ownership of this directory to tomcat8 user and tomcat8 group minus r for recursive attempt so the user has been added and so guys the java installation has been completed uh, now uh, let's verify the java java the command is working now check the java version using this command see the java version is 1.8 so now let's check for uh, java home java home is not currently set so guys uh, uh, let's uh, add the tomcat as a service uh, for this you need to go to etc system d and uh, system directory here you need to create a file named tomcat 8 dot service open this file and uh, copy and paste these uh, uh, configurations here we are uh, adding tomcat 8 as a service then we are going to uh, define the jre path let's verify the jre path first so the path is correct now again open that file and uh, then we are going to define the installation path of tomcat 8 it's uh, correct then we are going to define the small memory startup memory maximum memory and uh, uh, parallel garbage collector it's a environment which will clean automatically the used memory and uh, these are some uh, default java parameters we are adding in environment variables then startup and uh, stop command then user and uh, group name and uh, restart uh, interval is 10 second if your tomcat crashes it will automatically restarted after 10 seconds so let's uh, paste uh, these configurations in that file service file now let's enable this service using this command system ctl enable tomcat 8 dot service the service has been enabled now let's verify the service it's currently dead so guys let's start the service using this command tomcat 8 
system CTL start Tomcat 8. Now again check the status of service. It's up and running. Now go to the Tomcat directory. Now go to the logs directory. Here uh, you can find the logs in catalina.out file. Let's cat this file. So the server startup in 847 milliseconds. It means your server is up and running. So how you can uh, uh, access your server on browser? Uh, you need to uh, verify the port. Now go to up. So the port is 8080. Uh, here you can find the default port of your server. Now I am going to access my server on browser using my IP address with port Apache uh, Tomcat page has been loaded now let's uh, click on manager app it will uh, route you to the manager URL and uh, to enable this manager you need to configure the Tomcat users uh, let's copy these two lines and uh, go to the configuration directory of Tomcat Here you can find the file tomcat-users.xml Open this file and add your user Go to the end of uh, the file and uh, add your user here As you can see, I am adding the uh, role manager dash GUI and username is Tomcat and password is secret. Let's copy the password. We need to put the same password in browser. Now guys, after adding the Tomcat user, you need to allow the manager access. Uh, go to the web ops directory go to the web, web apps directory uh, one go to the one step back go to web apps go to manager directory go to uh, meta information directory here you can find the context.xml file in this file uh, comment this wall to allow the public access of your uh, Tomcat manager. To comment, you need to add uh, uh, this in the start of wall and uh, add this at the end of wall now uh, restart the tomcat using same command now tomcat is up now access the tomcat using your IP colon port slash manager slash HTML 
now it's asking for the user and password you added in uh, configuration file as you can see tomcat has been uh, uh, configured and uh, it's up and running here are the default web applications deployed on Tom tomcat you can start, stop, reload or undeploy any application from here. And now if you want to deploy your Java application, you need to uh, compile your Java application and uh, deploy your, uh, just copy your war file here in web apps directory. Once you copy your war file in web apps directory, you just need to uh, restart the tomcat once uh, the tomcat has been restarted your application will be deployed and uh, your application will be visible here in tomcat manager so guys i think now you can uh, easily install and configure tomcat on your uh, linux servers Thanks for watching this video kindly uh, hit on like button and uh, please subscribe to our channel. For further updates.